Two students shot outside George with High School in Richmond today. Good evening. I'm Janine Samuel. And I'm Bill Fitzgerald. We have complete coverage tonight. Our Cameron Thompson has reaction from parents and students, but we start with our Tyler Lane for the latest on just what happened. Tyler? Well, Bill and Janine, I'll show you what it looks like right now. There's just one police car outside of George with High School. But earlier today, this area right behind me in the parking lot next to the school was swarmed with authorities as they investigated this shooting. Richmond's George with High School transforms into an intense crime scene Thursday afternoon with police surrounding the entire campus after they say two students were shot in the parking lot. One teen suffered a life-threatening injury, and the other, police say, is expected to survive. We are trying to get to the bottom of, of what happened today. Acting Richmond Police Chief Rick Edwards says the details leading up to the shooting are limited. We don't have a motive as to the shooting. He says there was one shooter, but multiple suspects may be involved in the situation, and no one has been arrested yet. The suspects are still at large, so um, obviously that's still a concerning for us, but we, we don't believe that there's any more threat to any other schools at this this uh, time. With is equipped with metal detectors, two school resource officers and exterior cameras. But police say it's unclear if the students involved in the shooting went to school on Thursday and then left the building or if they never went to class at all. It's possible they did, but it's also possible that while they are students that they never went to school. That's part of the investigation right now. My ask of the community, though, is to help us. Superintendent Jason Cameras with a plea to the community to help ensure safety for all students. We need the entire village, all of Richmond, to support us. The amount of gun violence in the city has just got to stop. Richmond School Board Chair Stephanie Rizzi echoing that message. We can't do it all. The board can't do it all. RPS can't do it all. We need community engagement. She continues to raise red flags about security issues at WITH from students who leave school during the day. I've seen fewer and fewer children outside of the building during the school day, but it's obvious that this is still an issue. To the wooded area right next door, which she says is dangerous, low visibility, and where students frequently hang out. I'm furious that it's now taken this to get people's attention, you know? I mean, I knew that eventually something like this was going to happen. Now, police say they are still in the early stages of their investigation, and they're asking anyone with information to please reach out to Richmond police. Meanwhile, my colleague Cameron Thompson was at dismissal today talking to students and parents about their concerns. And Cam, what did they tell you? Well, Tyler, really for throughout all of the situation was a fear of the unknown, not w or wondering what was happening inside or outside of the school, depending if you were a parent or a student, and thankfully being able to get back together after several hours. Was stuck in the classroom. For George with High School senior Megan, the signs something was happening came during history class. I heard the security um, alarm downstairs for the doors going off. And then after that, they just called the lockdown. She says the students were made to move away from the class door and then had to wait and wonder why. I was just worried, like, if, like, something had happened inside the school because at the time, I didn't know, like, it was outside. So that just made me really nervous. Megan says she eventually found out what was happening through friends on social media, and school eventually went to lock and teach until regular dismissal. However, many loved ones had already been at the school for hours waiting to take their kids home after learning of the shooting. Maria says she found out over text and called her daughter on video chat. And when she on video, we video chat, and when she cut the video and she was under her desk, and I'm like, what's going on? She's like, Mom, they say it was a shooting at the school. I said, are you all safe? She said, yeah, we're good, we're okay, but the school's just on lockdown. While senior Mark Kell, who was off school grounds, came rushing back to get his younger brother. Then I called and he said it was okay. He was in the classroom, so it was all good. But um, I'm happy he won outside, or I won outside when they started shooting. And while eventually reunited with her kids, Maria says it's still devastating for the families of the victims and calls for more prevention. So if our kids are going home, but somebody's child's not going home, you know, so it's still bad, you know. Just gonna have to boost up security over here at the school some more, you know. Make sure all these kids are inside the school and not hanging around outside. 
And talking with some students after all of this happened, they said the because of uh, fear, because of what happened today, they don't plan to come to school tomorrow. In Richmond, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Cameron. Now back in February, our Melissa Hippolette reported a problem solvers investigation about safety concerns at George Wythe. She highlighted that only 14% of teachers at Wythe reported feeling safe last October and that very month, a student was found with a loaded gun inside a Wythe classroom. Then a photo circulated in January that many believed showed a student holding a gun inside the school. School board chair Stephanie Rizzi told Melissa she had done all she could to advocate for more safety and security at the school, but she said RPS just doesn't have the resources. And much like today, she also begged parents to get more involved and said with needs more parental involvement. To read the full story, search George with on our website or download our free CBS 6 News app.